How's it going guys? I am Matthias and it is Sunday, which means I'm going to be reading your comments. And today I am reading all of your most awkward stories with your boyfriend slash girlfriend. Also make sure you stay to the very end to listen to my most awkward story with my girlfriend. Also down in the comments below, answer the question of the day for a future episode, which is what is the most awkward moment you've ever had in class? Like legit in class, like you're sitting at your desk, having a weird moment, just let me know down in the comments below. Let's begin. I am forever a loner because all my crushes are fanfic from animes. Yeah, I'm weird, another reason I'm a loner. The most awkward moment with my boyfriend was when I found out he was cheating on me. I walked up to them making out and tapped him on the shoulder. He tried to explain that I got it all wrong. I didn't say anything, just walked up to the girl, kissed her, and then asked who was the better kisser. The girl and I started dating after that incident. Unexpected! Twist! This was not very long ago, so it was lunchtime and we had a dance at my school in a few days. My boyfriend was sitting on the opposite side of the table from me and talking to my other friends. He still hadn't asked me to dance, so I got up and walked behind him. I had to gather up a lot of courage to do this and lean next to him on the table and asked him to the dance. At first he said yes, and then he said no because he had a football game. Yep. My boyfriend ditched me for a football game. There was a dance and a football game at the exact same time? Well, I fell in her face looking like I was trying to kiss her. <laughs> My weirdest moment with the girl I like was that I tried to convince her mom was dead. She didn't believe me at first, but I eventually made her cry. Why would you do that? I was playing football, and as I was catching the football, this one girl tackled me and stared at me because she thought she hurt me severely. She didn't get off me until I said, you're kind of smashing my leg. That was awkward. Could have been nice though if you liked her. Am I right? Mine is the moment when I was at school and everyone crowds around you and shouts, kiss him, kiss him. But then you say to him, you're dumped. <laughs> What? A twist! Unexpected! Most awkward time with my GF is that she was looking away from me when we were at the movies and I tapped her on the shoulder so I could kiss her but ended up kissing the top of her head because she's small. That always happens. I always like go to kiss Amanda on the forehead because she's so short and like she tries to like anticipate the kiss on her lips so I end up just like putting her nose in my mouth. It's terrible. I saw this lump on my crush's back and I thought it was her spine so I touched it and I was like, why is her spine so weird? And then she was like, dude, that's my bra strap. <laughs> the most awkward moment I've had with my boyfriend is when we were watching your channel in my bedroom and I heard the ice cream truck and I flipped out running for the door and I came back with two drumsticks and I gave one to my boyfriend saying, dude, why aren't you pumped? It's an ice cream truck. And he promptly reminded me that he's lactose intolerant. In my blind excitement for ice cream, I had completely forgotten that my boyfriend can't even eat it. The most awkward moment I've ever had with my fiance was shortly after I moved in with him. I woke up in the middle of the night to see him squatting the air and chatting away gibberish. He was asleep and sleep talking. I didn't know what to do and I just kind of awkwardly watched him for a few minutes until he stopped. <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> My most embarrassing moment with my boyfriend was the moment I realized we were dating. We'd actually had apparently been dating for a couple weeks, but I didn't realize it and apparently everyone else did. I still feel a bit bad for not realizing it. The most awkward moment I had was with my crush when we were texting and he meant to say sweet dreams, but said wet dreams instead. It was hard to explain to my dad. <laughs> I was trying to impress the girl I liked at school by stealing ice cubes from the foods class and kicking them at some glass doors, but one of those ice cubes broke the glass and I had to pay to get it fixed. I haven't spoken to her since. Why would that impress her though? Check out me kicking these ice cubes, baby. So my ex and I were making out and a weird noise came from the TV and I started to laugh while still kissing. I bit his tongue and then he started laughing. After that, we became best friends instead of dating. I was with my girlfriend and, well, I thought I was, and I sat next to her and said, you look very beautiful today, but it turns out it was my girlfriend's sister and my girlfriend was watching me the entire time. I was so embarrassed. Most awkward moment, the first date and my boyfriend falls backwards down the front porch and suffers a concussion. <laughs> That sucks. This was super embarrassing, but it's funny. So a bunch of my friends, my crush and I were rollerblading up and down the street. 
We were trying to play tag and I was skating really fast towards him. He was trying to skate away, he tripped and fell over. When I tried to slow down, I just kind of used his toe as a brake and I broke it. Whoops, better find a new crush. You crushed your crush, am I right? My weirdest, most awkward moment was when I was riding a bike and somehow he and I rounded a corner at the same time and I ran over him. Now I don't have the courage to look or talk to him ever again. <laughs> you just, so it was like a hit and run or what? Like you never talked to him again, you just like boom, boom. See you later! <laughs> I was at a dance and we were just doing stuff you do at a dance. I was wearing high heels so I tripped over my dress, my undies were showing, and my boyfriend was just staring. I ran away crying. We don't talk much anymore. You know, he was your boyfriend for a reason. He liked you. It's most likely why I was staring. He was like... <gasps> A few years ago, my mom walked in on my now husband, then boyfriend, and I. The sad thing is, I didn't even realize she was there until she said, have fun, and walked out. Oh no! Oh! Awkward! My most awkward moment was when we were doing squats, and he farted. <laughs> When I was in my old school, I planned to give my crush a rose. When I got to school, everybody asked who the rose was for and I said my crush. For the rest of the day, they pushed me near my crush until my teacher heard about it. I told my teacher, help. Then he forced me to give the rose during lunch in a dark room. Then after 20 minutes, I had the guts to give it to her. Then the last thing she told me was thank you. We never spoke again. <laughs> One time I ordered Amanda flowers on Valentine's Day and like some sort of glitch happened in their system and they sent her a dozen roses roses in every single period. So she was carrying around like a hundred roses the rest of the day. Everyone thought I was like pretty slick, but I only sent one dozen. When I was talking with a friend that was a girl, my girlfriend pushed her aside and gave her a look the devil would fear. I have a new girlfriend now. I don't have a boyfriend, but I have this massive crush on someone in my class. But one time he walked up to me. I was freaking out and these were my exact words. Uh, um, uh, um, ha <laughs> ha, hi. We don't talk much, but that one time when he said something funny, I was just straight up farted. I'm still humiliated to this day. How does that work? Just like you laughed out a fart? <laughs> My awkward moment with my boyfriend was when we were playing soccer and I tripped on the ball and it ended up with his area in my face. My most awkward moment with my boyfriend was when we went on a date a few weeks ago to the cinema. When the film ended, we went for a walk around the shop. Sadly, one of his friends turned up and ruined the date. That friend keeps asking me if he can come on the next date. This was the moment before I started dating her. I'd actually been waiting to tell her how I felt and my friend kept bugging me to do so. One day, Sam and I were walking around our neighborhood when we seen her and Sam pushed me to go talk to her. When I I went over to her nervously. I tried to say hello, but instead I burped awkwardly and stared at her for like 10 seconds and then walked away. <laughs> my weirdest moment is when this guy started kissing me and my boyfriend walked into the park I was in. He thought I was cheating on him, but then the guy explained what happened. My most awkward moment with my boyfriend was when we were kissing and suddenly he had a horrible nosebleed and it was all over both of our faces. We both laughed it off and we've been together for three years. Oh, good for you that you didn't let that bother you. My most awkward moment with my crush was when he was over and we had just gotten our school pictures back and his mom had texted him that his fly was down in his picture and she texted the picture to my mom and I saw it. My crush got so mad but I was on the floor crying. My most awkward moment with the guy I liked is that he kept staring at me and wouldn't stop and seriously I got a nosebleed and had to go to the nurse. Later when I got back to class he asked me did you get a nosebleed from me looking at you? The answer was no. I got I get nosebleeds all the time. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought you did. Like you just got so stressed out and a blood vessel popped. When you like the same person that your BFF likes, I told her that he liked me and he did. We aren't friends, but me and my crush are dating, so that's good. Not really girlfriends. So I was in the first grade, and there was this girl who always protected me from the bullies. Eventually, I developed a crush on her, and after about two months, I told her. She yelled "ew" and ran off. <laughs> this was during lunch in front of every. Everyone. She never spoke to me again after that. Two years ago, my ex-boyfriend was teaching me how to longboard and when he thought I was okay to do it on my own, he let go of my hand. I was okay for about five seconds until I hit a weird spot on the sidewalk and fell into a trash can that was by the curb, which I guess disturbed a wasp's nest near me because I was attacked by wasps. My ex, instead of helping me, just 
sat there laughing. I had a cold, then my crush made me laugh and a massive booger came out of my nose. <laughs> my boyfriend and I were at the movies seeing the great Gatsby and his football coach, who was also our science teacher, sat right behind us. We were holding hands and I had my head on his shoulder. When the movie ended, we just heard, so having fun, you lovebirds? I hope you finished your homework and nothing was happening, if you know what I mean. He laughed and walked away. <laughs> my awkward moment was when we kissed and then her mom walked in. This this wasn't with a girlfriend, but with a crush. Me and her and a group of friends were all walking and talking at a state fair. Then the next thing I know, a group of friends had tried to walk away to leave us alone with each other. After looking up from my phone and seeing that I was alone with her, looking at me, I froze. I looked at her awkwardly for a few seconds, then went back to texting our group of friends to find out where they were. We walked in silence to a ride halfway across the fair to meet up with them. Silence. Oh, that's awkward. That's real awkward. Ah! My most awkward moment with my boyfriend was when we were still friends. His brother said, ha ah, you guys are lovebirds. And then I said, so what? So my boyfriend said, I love you as well. And then I freaked out to hear that because he's super popular with the girls. About a week after my now husband and I started dating, we were in his room and I tackled him and started tickling him and kissing his face. At one point, I leaned back and apparently applied too much pressure to his stomach and he farted a pretty audible fart. He immediately got the most mortified face I've ever seen and pushed me off hit his face under the covers and screamed. I was laughing so hard I couldn't even comfort him and tell him it's okay for about a minute. <laughs> and now that we're married, he will walk up, press his butt to me and fart on me and then run away. There's no shame in this marriage. Ooh. My most awkward moment was when I was 14 and decided to go with my boyfriend to see a movie. My mom decided to come along with us as she wanted to watch another movie that was showing. My mom dropped us off in the room where they were showing the movie, but before she did, she stood in front of the screen and said very loudly, don't start having sex or anything. <laughs> there were around 20 other people watching. My mom was escorted out of the movie theater. I was sitting with my girlfriend and some of my other friends and talking and stuff. I was really tired and I wasn't really listening when one of my friends said, OMG, you guys are so cute. Everyone started chanting for us to kiss, but I was so tired that I accidentally leaned the wrong way and kissed my ex instead. What? I started to try and flirt to my crush and my friend was there and he told me to stop. It turned out they were going out. <laughs> my most awkward moment with my crush was when we were in the gym and I kicked the soccer ball in his face at full force. He broke his nose and a tooth. <laughs> All right, for the awkward moment, we're gonna bring Amanda in because she has a more awkward moment here. What's your, what's your most awkward <laughs> moment? <laughs> okay, my most awkward moment, kind of with you. Um, kind of with me? Yeah. Well, we weren't dating, and it was during <laughs> PE, and we both had the same PE period, so... Physical my, education. Yes. My class was playing soccer on the soccer field, and his class was running laps. I'm not entirely yeah, sure. Yeah, we were running were laps around the soccer field. And I wasn't paying attention to what I was supposed to be doing, and I was looking <laughs> at him instead, and I got hit in the back of the head with a soccer ball. And I think you <laughs> saw. <laughs> 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 I was like running laps and we were being timed so I couldn't like run into the middle of the field and help her. She just got up and was like... <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click like and subscribe. And make sure you answer the question of the day, which is, what was the most awkward thing that ever happened to you in class? If you want more RYC, maybe check out the previous episode or the next one. And we'll see you next time. High five. <laughs>